using the modify tool to explore um, functions. So we'll start off in graph and table and uh, enter the function. So we need uh, x plus 2 squared uh, plus 1 and tap execute to uh, select it in and draw it in there. Now um, I'm just looking at the downstairs window. I don't have the on-screen uh, cursor controls which are normally if you've got them there'll be arrows displayed at the end of these lines. So before we go any further we'll tap on settings graph format and uh, we'll get rid of the derivative slope and we'll put on the G controller here and tap set. Um, now you'll notice here we've now got the graph controllers and these act like on-screen cursors for this uh, but for use with what we're going to do they're the only way to actually um, work it. So here we go we'll draw the graph tap on to draw the graph we'll hit resize and then tap analysis and the very bottom option is modify. Um, now we'll explain what's going on here the main thing is just to make sure that the step here is one and we'll say OK. And uh, the original function's overdrawn with another one. Now what we're going to do is select by tapping onto it, just highlighting the parameter we want to change, this one. And as I tap on the go right button, you'll notice this increased to two. And if I tap again, it's increased to three. And it's allowing us to change the parameters of the original function which is left in place and graph a new one so that we can observe the effect on changing this parameter on the position and shape of the graph and so on. So if I tap the left one, pulls it back down, left, left, and left, and now we've got minus one at the end. Now we could also um, play around with this parameter as well. So if I tap the left, uh, you'll notice the graph is heading off as we're decreasing this parameter um, and the turning point is moving and so basically that's what modify is all about it gives you a way of taking a function and exploring the effects of all the parameters within it when we want to stop um, doing this activity we just tap on the cross to close the graph window and that's that